Hey everyone, welcome back to what's probably going to be the final episode in Passport to My Childhood. Um, the last two episodes kind of got off track a little bit, and then I realized I uh, kind of just got through all the drawings I made when I was a kid, but I think for the final one, I think I'm just going to probably just tie it into story time, where I'll probably talk about something that happened to me as a kid, and I'll paint around it. I think I made plenty enough paintings that I don't really care if I get to the next stage or not. But, um, yeah, this is just going to be about me drawing a thing and telling a story around it. And I have a really decent one, I guess, I think, to start with. Um, so, as a kid, nope, we don't want that color. As a kid, um, Especially around, I think this was like 15, 16, 17. This is when you're just like, oh, I want to try some booze. Everyone is always talking about it at school. You want to be one of those kids who are like, yeah, I want to try too. And you do whatever you can to be like, I need to get some. And I'm not going to say names here because I don't want to throw other people under the bus. But they know who they are. Um, but a friend of mine in his basement, his uh, dad had probably individual bottles of beer. They were, they were not like six packs all taken out. It was like one type of beer, one type of, if you ever go to the grocery store and they have the uh, make your own six pack type stuff. Um, this was basically that, but it was in his basement. And the thing was that they, these things have been sitting in his basement untouched for, I'm going to probably guess, five to ten years. And probably had not actually ever really uh, paid attention to them at all for a very long time. And us being the desperate kids, I guess you could call it desperate, I'm not entirely sure. We uh, decided to, you know, make do with what we could so what my friend decided to do was we had a sleepover at another one of my friends house and he uh, decided to steal a bunch of these bottles um, I think he actually made sure that they were from back behind all the other uh, bottles so all the ones in the front you couldn't actually see so if you're actually checking on, you're like, well, all the ones in the front seem to be here, so I guess no one's messed with this stuff. Uh, you gotta be real, real smart and clever when you're a kid, I guess. So he took a bunch of these and put them into his uh, uh, spray paint again. Put them into his bag and brought them with him over to my friend's house for a sleepover we had. So we waited for his parents to go to sleep, and we decided to bust all of these. Can't, they were bottles actually bust all these bottles out and proceed to try the stuff um, mind you these things have been in the basement for a really long time none of them are refrigerated so we were drinking this uh, friggin years old nasty ass um, beer that's just been sitting in someone's basement for a long time but we were kids and we we're like well we want to try this stuff everyone seems to be all about it I'm gonna get lazy and just put X's on it because I guess that's what you do so we all take one bottle and we start uh, drinking it and we're like wow this stuff's terrible what a surprise and okay let's try a different different bottle well this stuff's bad too well, it's like, well everyone seems to be all about this stuff why is it so terrible it's like I don't know well we've got a bunch of these and of course being the paranoid kids we have to uh, dispose of the evidence as best we can and like well we got all this instead of us actually you know, just dumping it down the sink we we're still I guess all trying to be tough guy everybody else in the room we're like no I'm gonna drink this stuff I'm a badass so we decide to uh, just drink it. And we're like, well, all this stuff tastes awful. This is bad. I gotta, I gotta paint over this. All this stuff. Oh, God, no. Uh, I can't. Uh, you know what? We'll make do. I'll 
I'll just do this. It's like a tattoo redo. All this stuff tastes awful, but we're too macho, quote unquote, to actually uh, just throw it away. So we're going to drink it, but it all tastes bad. So we'll just drink all of it at once as much as we can. And I don't know whose idea it was to actually uh, put take one of those giant, probably like three to uh, five gallon jug uh, things of apple juice. Uh, the best way I can describe it is that they're big enough where they actually have like a little plastic handle that goes over the top of the lid that you can grip. That's what this thing is up here. And the thing was like half full of uh, apple juice. So we... Uh, Someone got the great idea just to pour all the can, the bottles that we had into this you know, half full jug of apple juice. And then we proceeded to, well, attempt to drink the rest of it for the rest of the night. It did not get very far, let me tell you, because apple juice mixed with any sort of beer that's been sitting in a basement for who knows how long it is pretty terrible and actually no this is supposed to be yellow because uh, I don't know a little puddle on the ground here we'll put this here uh, we tried Oh, phone went off. I shouldn't have anything to look at this. All right, whatever. Uh, it's not the good. That's the most not good painting ever. Whatever. So, moving on to uh, trying, I guess, to uh, take advantage of a situation. The next thing we did was. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna hear a lot of people complaining about this stuff, you know, but that's that's fine. I don't care um, You make do with what you can is uh, I was on the golf team and this is the same friend who had all the beers in the basement he uh, We made sure when really uh, this is every day on the golf team we would uh go to the local golf course for practice. So, what we would do is wait until we're actually far enough away from the clubhouse where you actually can't be seen from the clubhouse. And my friend would uh, put a bunch of those same um, bottles that he actually was able to get from the basement, put them in his golf bag, and we'd wait till this is probably like the fourth hole, I think, from the course, take them all out, and we would just pound these things on the fourth tee because it was so far away. It was in the corner in the woods. No one actually saw us. There was a little dirt road that actually, uh, um, what the hell's the word? Uh, dirt road that was right next to the tea box that we were at, but no one was ever on. That's the wrong color. I should have used a different one, but whatever. Uh, how do I do perspective? I'll do a little bit of this, I guess. Yeah, we'll do that. And we'll do just a thin. This is supposed to be depth, depth. I can't say that word now for some reason. Yeah, there we go. So we would spend as much time as we could so it didn't look like it was too obvious that the people behind us or in front of us were waiting too long to be like, why are they taking so long to golf? They've been taking forever. So it wouldn't draw any suspicion to us. But not drunk enough that, uh, yeah, you can take that story, 700 bucks. That's about a $700 story if you ask me. Fantastic. Um, 
So we'll put Hugh here. I don't know, that really was just kind of the story of all of us would just drink a bunch of they were like Molson X, Molson Ice. Things that no one in the right well, I don't know if I should insult people by saying no one in the right mind would actually buy the stuff now, but I don't know. It served its purpose at the time. It was awful. And I'll finish this up with a uh, spray painted tree. That was one advantage to at least where I grew up on the golf team is um, I'll do a little bit of park lines here we go. No, god damn it, I forget every time. Park, park, that's park, that's park. Fantastic. And then we'll do a little grass line here. Um I, do I dare? I think I do. Alright, golf clubs. Yeah, golf it was the fun thing about golf was you really just kind of were on your own, played your round, made sure you drank enough, and then another guy I do freak, uh, didn't, I forgot to mention, also would bring gum because, of course, being the super paranoid, we don't want to get caught kids after we drank so much, we would chew a bunch of gum so no one could tell. And the course we played at was just full of raging alcoholics, so all we had to do was just wait till we got to another uh, tea box and just dump the empties in any of the uh, baskets there. It was the perfect crime. Now, don't take this as um, a suggestion for all you young kids out there to do this, but parents, if you're watching this, your kids are totally doing this stuff. I mean, I don't have to tell you that. You were kids at one point. Um, that's another thing I've always wondered is that uh, white tea, oh, whatever. Um, it's just the pattern that people always seem to go through is now we'll put the dimples on there fine is that when we're all kids of course we don't want to listen to our parents because parents never know anything and we don't ever understand until we become old enough that yes all our parents understood things and then we try to actually tell all the kids at the time that yes we know what we're talking about only for them to think the same way and then the problem becomes, if you take that approach of trying to talk to kids, of being like, yeah, you never have your problems, it feels horribly dismissive to somebody who has these type of problems at the time. And it just feels like it's just this, history doesn't repeat itself, it's just history just doesn't seem to be taken into account. What am I going with this? I don't even know. Um, a lot of babbling here. But what are you going to do? There was a point to all this. Is there ever a point to all this? I'll put the sun here. I kind of like this painting. It came out, came out better than I thought it would. Uh, we'll do spray painting. Yeah. This is a rather aimless couple of episodes this week. I think it's just this temperature in this room. It's it's just kind of sapped my brain. Uh, I don't know why I'm making excuses for this. It's just yeah, whatever. I'm kind of just having fun here painting, saying these things. I'll put another tree. Why not? Over here. Actually, that's a horrible look. That that doesn't look like a brown to me. Maybe I'm just blind. I don't know. I don't. tree and then we'll no spray paint spray paint there we go wonderful I kind of like this painting maybe I'll maybe I'll try putting a little bunker down here if you can uh, every time there we go amazing I am amazing yeah 
I'm kind of impressed with this painting, people. Maybe not so much in what I was talking about, but yeah, I guess they all can't be winners. That's no excuse to have, but whatever. I kind of enjoy this one. I'll uh, put another... That actually looks like a can of uh, oil more than it does anything else. But do I... I'm going to try to tap, put this in T. I'm just going to actually just do doodles because this actually didn't come out. I couldn't put top flight in here long enough, uh, small enough, and the, this isn't a fine enough pen. So you just got to make, I'll just have to make do. But I kind of, I think I kind of like this, uh, I'll put a shadow in here. Look at that. I, I am, oh my God, I'm a friggin' genius. I really, I think I'm, I, I can I, I think I figured something out here, folks. I've just discovered shadows. Oh my god. I'm blowing my own mind. Um, but I think I kind of like this this format and idea that I got going here. And I think I might actually just keep it. But maybe next time I'll put it over here. Maybe next time I'll actually pay more attention to... Uh, what am I going to call this? Boozing. I'll come up, I'll actually sit here and actually uh, try to think of some better stories for next time. And maybe be a little bit more prepared, I don't know. Hopefully by then my back isn't going to be killing me. Whoa. No one understands something this complex. It's... Don, no, I think you're wrong on this one. I think your jacket's on backwards. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not a, I'm not a fashionista. Um, let's see if this lady likes it. Ooh. Oh my god, Mary. I'm 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 not gonna I'm not gonna risk it. Mary, you take that. I think I know what's in Mary's wheelhouse now. Oh my god. Ooh, city's nobility for now. Alright, folks. That's gonna be it for me for this week. Uh again. I think I kind of like the format I'm going here. Next time I'm actually going to have, I guess, better stories prepared. Uh, but that's pretty much all past porting through my childhood. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, let me know. If you hated it, I'm sure I don't have to tell you to let me know because you're going to let me know anyway. But that's the part of the game. What am I going to do? Why am I apologizing? You're trying. I don't know what I'm saying here. This is. Ugh. Thanks, folks. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.